Yo, what is up ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Mumble Elite. Welcome back to another video. And today we got the 78 plus upgrades in FIFA 22 Ultimate Team. Um, I'm gonna show you guys how to grind these, how to make coins on them, how to trade with them, do a bunch of stuff. So if you guys do enjoy this video, feel free to smack the like button, subscribe if you're new. Let's see if we can get 50 likes on this video. Let's have this be the most like upgrade video we have on the channel. I'm gonna try to help you guys out as much as I can. I know it's going to change throughout the week, so I'm going to show you some different ways you can do this. So without further ado, let's kind of get right into it. So you can see, or let me remove these on screen real quick. Um, you can see that the requirements are going to be gold cards. You need a minimum of 15 chem. You need five in the squad. And you notice here, they give us a goalkeeper, two center back spots, and two center mids. So if you're going to want to get chem, the things you're going to have to look for are position, um, same nation, and or same... Uh, league those are going to be the things that will help you get chem and early on it might be pretty simple to do this but if we go to the market let's get an idea of what things are currently going for because as i remember in past times cards started at like a 400 by now and they slowly increased over time so we're gonna do gold common first just to check where the market's at yep you can snipe these in the 59th minute for 400 coins you can probably win them on bid for 350. Um, 450 coins you're going to see that everything sells within 20 minutes and this will probably slowly start scaling up throughout the next day and these are going to get more expensive to do so if you're trying to make coins on these in the meantime or try to break even when you're making this pack if you snipe these for 400 or pick them up for 400 that's five positions that's going to cost you 2,000 coins to do the pack so let's say you pick them up for 350 and you sell them at 500 coins because that can be something that's easy to do um, you're going to be making 125 coins per card. Now, to break even, 2,000 divided by 125, that is 16 cards that you would need to sell that you picked up for 350 and sell at 500 to be able to craft one of these packs. So kind of keep that in mind as you're going. You can kind of go off a coin total too. Like I'm at 402,000 right now. Realistically, if I wanted to, let's say, make a pack right now, go down to 400,000 coins, and then if I wanted to trade with these cards, get myself up to 405,000, I can just keep an eye on that coin total to know that, hey, I'm in profit right now. Let's make another pack. Um, let's do it that way. So that would be my advice. But as you see, you're going to notice that a lot of people are going to be bidding on these. But not only that, you're going to see a lot of positions um, slash a lot of leagues are going to be highly used. So if we go off of the center back position, I almost guarantee you that these are going to be higher in price. If we go to 600 by now, you're going to see that these sell almost instantly within a minute for 600 by now. If we go to 650, you're going to see a similar thing, but this time it's everything within a half an hour. So if you're going to try to make a lot more coins trading, you might want to try to pick these up on bid or snipe these. Even though there's going to be more eyes on them, there's going to be more profit in them as well. But as you notice, other prices are going to start creeping up to this. So if you see that gold commons start getting to 600 coins or 700 coins, you could potentially start using rare golds instead. Now, 78 pluses is going to give you an untradeable player back. If you get an untradeable, let's say 78 rated rare gold, and you don't know what to put them in, you could theoretically put that back into the pack. And instead of needing to buy five players on the market, you just buy four this time. And that's going to shrink the cost to less coins now. Um, another thing to keep in mind, Libertadores cards and Sudamericana. So Sudamericana cards, I don't know what currently their price is. If we go to 350 with a minimum buy now of, let's say 700, Conabel Sudamericana cards count as gold commons if it's rated 75 and above so technically you could use these if you find one that's 75 rated and above if you can pick it up on the cheap um, that would be a good way of going about it typically those are harder to find the best way to go in my opinion is the libertadores which isn't in here you actually have to find it in leagues and since it's so hard to find it makes it easier to win these on bids so these count as rares so if you think of rares typically people can bid 600 coins as the minimum we're going to do this ourselves so we'll do a minimum buy now of let's say 700 we'll see if there's any lib cards that we can pick up for 600 coins as you see here this one doesn't have a bid on it you pick it up for 600 you can use this in the solution now comparing price you'll see that the buy now is not super high on these either you see 650 right there um these typically stay lower than a lot of gold rares and common golds just because they're not as known so if you're trying to win center backs it might be a good idea to try to pick up some of these lib center backs pretty simple to win and also too since they're from the same league and a lot of them are argentinan or i guess you could just go off the same league 
A lot of them are going to share chem, and since 15 chem is not that hard to hit, if you get a center back and then you link it with, like, let's say, an Argentina right wing, even though right wing is not one of the positions you need, you're going to get a majority of your chem right there. So it's just going to make it simpler to do. So hopefully that was helpful for you guys. Um, that's really it in terms of how to grind these. Again, how to make coins on them. It is an untradeable pack. So theoretically, you're not going to be able to sell the player that you get on for profit. But if you're trading on your way to make the pack, like mass bidding on common golds or, or lib cards to make the pack, and then you're selling duplicates on or you're selling things that you're not going to use for profit to pay for the pack, you're making profit that way. Another thing you can do, if you get untradeables from the 78 plus, now let's say you get enough boards or walkouts that you want to do something with it. You theoretically could, if you wanted to, put them into teams. So if you wanted to, let's say, get Conte done in the couple last days he's here, you could theoretically put your 87 team together, get yourself a small rare gold players pack tradable. Now, if you use all untradable players that you got from the 78 plus, even though they don't have any tradable value on the market, you're saving coins from actually having to go and buy the 87 rateds from here and you get a tradable pack. So theoretically, you could take untradable cards, put them in here, get a tradable pack, and then potentially pack something great out of that, and you're just in insane profit then. Or you could just get some normal tradable cards, sell those, and make decent profit. It is what it is. Um, the faster you make these packs, the less you sell on, the harder it's going to be to make profit. The slower you make these 78 upgrades, um, the more you sell duplicates on or sell other cards on, the more profit you make, the easier it's going to be to see that coin total keep going up. So it's a scale. Ride it however you like. That's what she said. I typically go somewhere in between. A lot of times I like to break even. Or what I'll do is I'll typically mass bid before a stream or before a video. That way I can make a lot of profit beforehand. Then all the cards that are left, I just use to make packs then. You can kind of justify it however you want. It's here for another day and 22 hours by the time I'm recording this. Hopefully you guys... Um, get something good. I see that we have a Where is it the hero thing right here? Let me know down below if you guys are going to be doing the hero upgrade pack It doesn't look too bad in terms of the requirements. I'm hoping we get something good 83 rated team easy 85 rated team easy 86 might be a little more difficult, but I think we have enough fodder in our club um, I don't know how good the 78 plus packs are going to be but I know fodder is relatively cheap so we will try to get this hero upgrade done throughout the week. And hopefully we pack someone insane. I would love that League One player. Um, it would fit really well on my squad. But yeah, thank you guys for chilling. If you did enjoy, feel free to smack the like button. Subscribe if you're new. We're doing trading tips slash SBC videos every single day. We are currently in the process of waiting for um, League SBCs to come out. We're highly invested. We have over... Will it even show us? We have almost 9,000 cards of libs on our transfer target. So we're going to be grinding that. And yeah, that's about it. Thank you guys for watching. I'll talk to you later. It's been your boy, Mumble I'm out. God bless.